hit their son. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Youngblood. We are starting tonight with a bloody Sunday at the Bada Bing nightclub in Latson. Police say one person is dead after a wild shooting, and that tops our crime alert tonight. Hassel Vela is live at the scene with more. Hassel? Rob, as you said, a man is dead. He is 25 years old, died of gunshot wounds. A second man was taken to the hospital and is in critical condition but stable. Uh, we don't know a lot of the specifics in terms of what happened, how it had all started, whether it was a fight or whether it was a drug deal gone bad. But we do know, if you watch our video, that it wasn't a fun night for folks at this club last night. Sometime after 5 this morning, cruisers swarmed the College Park Center strip mall from afar, just a crime scene. But with daylight, a better look at what officials say was a deadly shooting at the Bada Bing nightclub. A uh, shooting occurred inside the club, came out into the parking lot, and the shooting continued in the parking lot. 25-year-old Jamal Trapper gunned down. The Berkeley County coroner says he died of gunshot wounds. He wasn't the only victim, though. Another man in his 20s, also wounded, rushed to the hospital where he is in critical but stable condition. Officials aren't saying how it all went down, but evidence shows a clearer picture. Cars splattered with blood and bullet shell casings left on the concrete. Closer to the club's front door, windows smashed out. I really don't know. It could have been, um, could have been a girl. Could have been, you know, don't know how to talk to people. You know, could have been anything. But whatever it was, Charlene wanted to stop. Bullet don't have no eye. You know, and I mean, this is someone's son, you know, who got killed out here. It's just really, the violence needs to stop. The club needs to be closed down, and it's just awful. It really is. Now, right now, police are looking into possible suspects, but they haven't man made any arrests yet. They did make unrelated arrests last night for drug and weapons. Now, we, you may remember that another shooting took place at this very same club last February, February of 2006. A man, a 45-year-old man, was killed then, and two men were later charged in that crime. This is the second incident, like I said, in just a little bit less than a year at this club, and police say they are going to, quote, look into whatever necessary to see what measures can be taken and as you can see behind me the club has been boarded up so we are not sure if it will reopen or when it will reopen or if it will reopen at all. Rob back to you. All right thank you very much Hassel. Now we should also know